So things have been pretty rough since the Ed came to America. Um, it's been really hard for him because he can't work and we're living in the apartment where I used to live with my ex. And thanks to my big mouth friend, Melanie, she told Zied that I used to live in this building with my ex. And as you can imagine, it was very hurtful to Zied to find out that I once lived in this building with my ex. And Zied's kind of stuck right now, he can't work. And I'm working really long hours at the chicken joint. So he's kind of stuck at home and all we really have in the apartment right now is a mattress and maybe some Maxwell House coffee. So he gets up, he makes some coffee, he FaceTimes with his family. But I really want Zia to feel comfortable in America and I really want my family to accept him. So tonight we went out to dinner so that Zia could have some fried food and maybe see if they could accept him a little bit more. But it didn't go so well because there was this hot young chick there who was overly invested in Zied, offering to help him move while I'm at work, hard at work, slinging hot chicken. And this girl thinks she's gonna come over here and help Zied move. Well, it's not happening. It is not happening. It doesn't work that way in his culture or in my apartment, it doesn't work that way. And Zied has to realize he is in America now. He is in America and these women are different. They're not like the women in his country. So I have to really keep an eye on him and just make sure he doesn't leave the apartment. Because what if he would go down the street and try to get coffee out and the same barista that made my ex's coffee made Zied a coffee. That would be incredibly hurtful to Zied. I also want to make sure that Zied and I are on the same page. I need to make sure that he's okay with our age difference and living in this apartment where I once lived with my ex. So we need to have a long talk. What if he wakes up one day and wants children? What if he wants a dog? What if he wants a job? I mean... How am I going to keep an eye on him if he goes out every day and there's these women around and they're offering things? I, I don't know how Zied's going to hold up. I really don't. So all I can do is just try to keep as much control over the situation as I can right now.